Hi there. So the answers then to this question where we were given this equation of a circle. For part A, we had to find the coordinates of the centre C, which you can see are minus 5, 3. You also had to find the radius in part B, which was 4. And then you had to give the exact values of the y coordinates in third form, where the line x equaled minus 3 crossed the circle. And it turned out that y equaled 3 plus or minus 2 root 3. So just to take you through what I did, I'm assuming that you are familiar with the equation of a circle. If not, do check out my video tutorials on this. What I'm trying to do is reduce it to this particular form. And we do that by completing the square. I grouped together the x terms and the x squared terms. Got x squared plus 10x here. And I complete the square over these two. So what we do is we take x and then we halve the coefficient of the 10, which is 5, and square that result. That would give us x squared plus 2 lots of 5x, which is the 10x, plus 5 squared, which is 25. And then we take the 25 away. So this block here reduces down to just x squared plus 10x. We do the same for y squared minus 6y. We complete the square over those two terms. So we have y, and then we halve the coefficient of the y term here, which is minus 3. Put that in brackets and square it. If you were to work that out, you get y squared minus 2 lots of 3y. That's the minus 6y. And then you get minus 3 all squared, which is plus 9. So I subtract the 9. And that block there would give me just y squared minus 6y. So that's completing the square for you. OK. And then we've got that plus 18, which I put on the end. So when I add 25, 9 and subtract 18 from both sides, I get this result here. And when you've got it in this form, you can read off the center of the circle, which is negative 5. You switch the sign here, negative 5 for x, and you switch the sign for y, which is 3. So that's the center of the circle. Remember this term on the end, this constant, gives us r squared. So you need to square root it to give us the radius, which is 4. Now, I've sketched the circle just so I could appreciate what's going on. And uh, I've drawn the line x equals minus 3 in. So all we need to do is just say when x equals minus 3, you could substitute x equals minus 3 into here and work out what y is. But it's much easier to substitute it into this equation here, which I'll call 1. So putting minus 3 into the first bracket gives us 2 all squared, which is 4. And then we've got y minus 3 all squared equals 16. And so I've subtracted 4 from both sides, giving me the 12 here. Square root both sides, so you end up with y minus 3 equals, and don't forget, it's plus or minus root 12 here. And then adding 3 to both sides just gives me y equals 3 plus or minus root 12. And then for root 12, I can break that down to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2, so that gives me 2 root 3. So y equals 3 plus or minus 2 root 3. Okay.